And our final presenter this evening is master's student Kevin Alessandro Bautiste from the College of Engineering, studying in the Weldon School of Biomedical Engineering. Kevin graduated from Purdue with his bachelor's degree in the same field. He enjoys playing guitar, trying to run, and listening to audiobooks. He is from the Philippines and loves seeing his family back home, but hates flying. He would swim to them if he could, but he never learned how to swim. <laughs> the title of Kevin's presentation this evening is Akuna Matata, A New Way of Monitoring Stress. Chronic diseases are the invisible killers of America. Affecting about half of the US population, it's likely you know someone suffering from conditions like diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease. These conditions are debilitating, with their effects spanning years and often lifetimes. A common factor in many of them, stress. Progressive and long periods of high stress levels can lead to mental health issues like depression and anxiety, and physically show through hypertension, heart disease, and even stroke. Especially with chronic diseases, early diagnosis and consistent monitoring are keys to prevention and proper treatment. Medical devices have advanced to allow us to properly monitor these conditions, leading to better patient care. For example, glucose monitors for diabetes patients have become a popular method of tracking blood sugar levels and even providing treatment. Stress, however, is not as simple. Cortisol, the adrenaline hormone used to monitor stress levels, has much lower concentrations, making it harder to measure. Traditional methods like blood and urine samples aren't done frequently enough, and usually only at a doctor's appointment months away with no reliable platform for real-time monitoring and better preventative care. Now, one way we can measure cortisol is through electrochemistry. Similar to how white light, when shined through a prism, splits into beautiful colors of light that move at different frequencies, we can send a signal of different frequencies to a sample that has cortisol and determine its concentration from the response. It's a process that opens up a whole new world of minimally invasive monitoring because we can do this with small amounts of samples and still detect the small concentrations of cortisol as it changes throughout the day. The problem? Devices that can conduct these measurements are huge bulky and cost thousands of dollars, making them terrible candidates for wearable monitors and inaccessible to a lot of people. My thesis revolves around the development of a miniaturized sensor that can do the same functionality at a fraction of the size and a fraction of the cost. My work fits comfortably in the palm of your hand and our initial tests have shown that it is comparable to a $50,000 device and yielded results with errors less than 1%, all at the cost of $50. Our next step is to test it with cortisol so that when used with a non-invasive sample like saliva, it'll run these measurements, determine concentrations, and provide real-time results to the user's phone. Insights like these provide long-term measurements that can be used with clinicians to better understand how patients manage their stress levels. With a lower cost and a smaller size, my work aims to open the door to better wearable monitoring for stress, better patient care and treatment plans, and ultimately, lower the rates of mortality from these invisible killers by providing visible results. Thank you.